Hey, hey, it's Grips, and as always, thanks for joining me. So here's a question for you. Have you ever restored a car, built a patio, or went to an air show, and you recorded three or four hours of videos, and you know it's just too long for most people to watch? So stick around. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you two hyperlapse methods where you can take that three, four-hour video and condense it into two or three minutes. Most modern cameras, even your smartphone, has a feature called hyperlapse. And basically what it is, it allows you to take a photo of yourself every one minute, every two minutes, or whatever the setting that you want. So let's say you're building a patio or a chair, or you're storing a chair, and, and you want to record yourself. So you're going to take a photo of yourself every one minute, every two minutes, and then it forms a video. Let's say you didn't have that option. You just filmed three hours of you making a chair. Fear not, I will teach you how we can do that in hyper uh, a hyperlapse video within Corral Video Studio. So put a footage onto your timeline, and here I am. I'm basically going to set up a studio, my studio. Uh, I've got a client coming in doing some photos, and I'm just setting this up. The duration of this clip is 4 minutes at 3 seconds and 11 frames. It's going to be way too long, way too boring to watch this. I'm going to compress this entire clip into about 30 seconds. So let's do that. Um, first, I'm going to split my audio, and I'll show you why in a minute. So I split my audio, and I'm just going to now right-click on my footage. I'm going to go to Speed and Speed Time Lapse. Don't worry about this panel. I'll explain it to you. It's much faster. What I want to do is make a snapshot of every third or fourth frame. So let's make the frequency up to four. So every fourth frame will be recorded. The other fours will be ignored. Now, do not touch the speed. You can change it here, but I'm going to show you a much faster method. Just press OK. What I want you to do, I want you to move your cursor right to the end, and you'll see it turns into an arrow that's black. If you hold down the Shift key, it turns into white. With your left mouse button, drag it to the left. What it does, it gives you a panel, and it can tell you the percentage of speed that is being increased and also the duration. And I just want to bring it down to about 30 seconds. Here we go. And I'm going to do the same with the audio. And why I did that is I need this audio. Oh, sorry, I'm going to split the audio. <laughs> We need ambience, we need that background sound. If there's no audio at all, it's going to sound weird. So let's have a look at this now. So you can still hear the, the ambient noise in the background. Every once in a while you hear a click. So here we go. It's a four minute video compressed into three seconds. And this is a hyperlapse video. So that was the first method. It's very simple how we can create the hyperlapse within Video Studio. And now I'm going to show you the second method within Video Studio. The second method, I'm actually going to get Corral Video Studio to do all the work. And how I'm going to do that, I'm going to use the stop motion feature right up here. So I'm going to show you how I set everything up. First thing I did, I connected my PC to my DSLR, like so. And then I went into Corral Video, launched it, went into the stop motion section, set the settings the way I want it, three to four frame rates, and then just press record. And then I just went about and set up my studio for my client. So now let's have a look at the stop motion setup. So let's launch this little panel here. We go and click the stop motion. And what we want to do is then create an auto uh, click. In other words, you don't have to sit there and manually click it. So you need to have a, a camera connected, a USB camera, whatever it is that you want to use connected. And then we're going to go here into this auto feature. And then we're just going to click into the settings menu. And now you kind of have to guess like, well, how many hours, minutes, seconds you want to play. For. And it doesn't matter. You can literally just put one hour here and you can always just stop it when you want to. And then the durations, like how often do you want to do it? So I basically stuck it here into every three seconds I wanted it to take a photo. So let's do that. And then as soon as we're ready, we just press here and then we can just walk around and anywhere into that screen. Now, after a while, uh, when you, when, whenever you finish your project, let's stop that now, uh, it will then automatically create a video file for you. So we're going to save this, and then we're going to exit, and it's now obviously going to go, it's a video 7, it's going to go into that folder that we're currently working in. So let's uh, exit out of that, and it's here now. And we can drag this to the timeline, and then we can preview it where I basically just walked around for a quick second. And that, my friends, is how you can also create a hyperlapse video within the software itself. And there you go. 
And as always, thanks for watching.